Brake-specific fuel consumption is a way of comparing engines. It allows us to compare very small engines with very large engines by asking how much fuel was used to do an equivalent amount of work. This allows us to compare this little CAT 3406 to some of the largest two-stroke diesel engines that you'll find. The equation is very simple. It's fuel consumed divided by the power. As an example, let's consider a new CAT 3406, one that's rated at 400 kW electrical. When it has 100% load on it, we can expect that it will consume 29.2 gallons per hour. At 75% load, 20.9 gallons per hour. And at 100 kilowatts, which is a quarter load, we can expect it to consume about 14.4 gallons per hour. If we were to do the calculations, we'd find that the brake specific fuel consumption evaluated at 100% power is 29.2 gallons per hour over 400 kilowatts. Rearranging the math, we see this is 29.2 gallons per 400 kilowatt hours. In a moment, I'll show that the brake specific fuel consumption increases as we reduce the load on the engine. Let's convert the numbers into metric. To do that, we need to know that diesel weighs about 3,240 grams per gallon. And then, using dimensional analysis, we arrive at 237 grams per kilowatt hour. Again, that's for the engine when it's under 100% load. It's useful to plot the brake specific fuel consumption as a function of engine load. When we do that, we end up with a curve that looks something like this. As we reduce the load on the engine, we see that the efficiency drops which is to say it consumes more fuel for the amount of power that it produces. There's a few things you should know about engines. One of the more important things is that larger engines are more efficient. But be careful. We didn't say that the larger engine was more efficient under all conditions. We said that it was more efficient when operating at 100%. Not the same thing. Consider this. This is the operating point for our CAT 3406 engine while it's operating at 100% rated load. If we were to draw a horizontal line, which is to say we were to keep the brake specific fuel consumption constant, and we walk that line to the left, we find a point where even our more efficient engine, when it's lightly loaded, is not as efficient as our smaller engine operating at 100%. Long story short, for peak efficiency, we want the engine to be properly sized to the load, ideally where the engine is operating very near 100% at all times.